we're here on this amazing ball of dirt and water, and it's a miracle. It almost makes me cry just thinking about how beautiful the universe is. It's the most exciting time we could have hoped to be alive. Art, music, culture, ideas all exploding, sharing knowledge on the internet, sharing knowledge about ourselves, learning about ourselves, learning what we need, what we want, what we can do without. I've realized that my relationship with the state is an abusive one. Those who work for the state tell me that they're serving me, but they are no servant. And I am no master, except of my own life. I don't seek to control the lives of others, as some may do to me. I instead rely on voluntary, peaceful, mutually beneficial exchange. So, I like to remember that it's all an illusion. The path to freedom in your life starts with a freedom mindset. I am your king. No, we had a king. Then who is your lord? We don't have a lord. What? I order you to be quiet. All I really think he is. <laughs> Will you shut up? Up! Now we see the violence inherent in the system! Shut up! I view the state as the cause of many things which I view to be intolerable. I limit my funding of the organization as much as possible, to every extent possible. So that means not paying taxes and not participating with their mail system. I'm fortunate enough to be able to do those things. Some people are not. Correction. Everybody is free to do those things. Some people choose not. I guess that's really my point. How do we make ourselves more free? Well, you are free. If you want to see things change, you have to have the courage to act on your beliefs. You only get to live once. If you're going to say you believe in something, put your ass on the line. Otherwise, be honest with yourself and say you want a quiet life. But in your quest to make change, don't be fooled. Lines have been drawn for you to follow. Protest here. Vote here. It's all smoke. Wow. It seems like the system is a lot different than we think it is. The saying that change starts with you has mystical implications. I truly believe we are all one in a greater sense. And so if you see hate in the world, add love to your life. If you see greed, show generosity. Treat others with kindness and live free. Now, living free can be dangerous depending on where you live. So if you're planning on living completely free, I recommend you move to New Hampshire. When I say stand up for your beliefs and act on your principles, that could mean civil disobedience and getting arrested and serving jail time. It's a twisted, crazy world where you could serve jail time for a non-crime. If that's not for you, I understand. But in my opinion, Though you may be caged by another, making bold choices and taking the consequences is the most exhilarating part of life and what I love about freedom. Unfortunately, in my lifetime, civil disobedience may not be the most productive way to fight the state. There are other ways to enhance freedom in your life that don't involve getting arrested. Being bad feels pretty good. Politicians are liars, so get those out of your life. The best thing that I've been able to do is stop listening to these politicians. It's harmful to hear their lies. My recommendation? To free your clarity of thought. Stop paying any mind to people who claim to be your overlords. This goes just about opposite of everything I've ever learned in my life. Some people scoff at this, but try it. It's easier than you think. I must admit, this information is pretty hard to believe. The state is everywhere, and instead of being negative about it, it can be helpful to keep a positive attitude about the small changes you're making in your life to increase your opportunities to exercise freedom. For example, some of my food comes from local farmers. The FDA had nothing to do with it. 
While I used to do all of my grocery shopping in those regular chain stores, there's something about their resemblance to a Toys R Us that just doesn't sit with me. And while it's nice to use those self-checkout counters that they have at some stores, there's nothing like having a real-life relationship with your farmer. And in the U.S., it's possible just about everywhere. I live in Philadelphia, a major metropolitan area, and am still able to get local farm-fresh food. This is called the information age, and with good reason. You have access to the world's knowledge. Unfortunately, predatory agents of the state have corrupted the mainstream media, and people today are left with very few options for information dissemination. But more solutions are being created every day, as the great equalizer, the internet, is bringing us all closer together. Email? I heard that's really neat. Want to write a letter to President Clinton? Would he answer us? Another important aspect, and one that is so often overlooked, is maintaining one's health. Health is wealth. None of the gold or silver or Bitcoin in the world matters if you don't have your health. That means taking the time and putting in the work to exercise, get fresh air, quit smoking, limit drinking, eat real food. Everything tastes good and you're eating well. See what good eating habits can do for you. Finally, freedom in your personal life means dealing with people that you like. The world is filled with wonderful people. There is no reason you should be dealing with a single one who displeases you. When one breaks one's relationship with statists, one opens the possibility for new relationships. Relationships based on mutual understanding, respect, consent, non-aggression. As a person who broke all ties and moved to New Hampshire to commit a victimless crime spree, and as a person who has served jail time for that victimless crime spree, I can tell you that when freedom is outlawed, only outlaws will be free. <laughs>